Hello, and a warm welcome to another episode of Stocks to Watch, where we talk with decision makers and senior leaders of companies across the board to help you make informed investment decisions. I am Munir Barazi, your business analyst and host, and today I'm joined by Joel Freudman, the CEO and director of True Precious Metals a company that is advancing high-grade copper and gold discoveries in Newfoundland. True Precious Metals is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange as TRU and on the OTCQB as TRUIF. Hello, Joel. It's nice to see you again. Good morning, Monir. Great to be back. Good morning. So I feel this episode will be a sequel to our previous discussions. We've spoken before about how True Precious Metals uh, came to existence and how you put together really the Golden Rose project. And today there is a new chapter in the company's story. A new CEO is going to take the helm of the company, Mr. Steve Nicol. And also you're going to resign as a CEO and retain an advisory role. So tell us more about Mr. Nicol's expertise and track record. Why is he the right person for this high profile role? It's a great question, Monir. Um, we're very excited about this new chapter in True's development. You know, as anyone watching these interviews knows, my background's more transactional, you know, legal and finance. We are now in the big leagues. We, True is now in the big leagues. We have, you know, this major option deal with Eldorado Gold, multi-billion dollar gold producer, and they are expecting us to deliver operationally on an exploration program that they run. So we need someone who's a real tried and tested mining executive to run the company for this phase of our development. And Steve is just the right guy to do the job. He's a mining engineer by training. He has over three decades of experience in the industry. And unlike many people out there in the industry, Steve has built a mine. Over a period of 10 years in Spain, he put together a mine from kind of start to finish that's now producing and employs 200 people uh, with tungsten and other commodities. So he's really seen it all in the life cycle of mine development. Of course, he's also worked on projects at an earlier stage, like a Golden Rose. And so this is someone who really understands all the nuances and all the technicalities of really advancing a project from start to what you hope is production in the case of True. You're too far down the road, but right now, one step at a time, Steve has seen the whole process. He's worked through the kinks that not normally arise in something large scale uh, you know, execution like this. And so he's gonna be an ideal person to lead the partnership with Eldorado and help us advance Golden Rose methodically, on budget, on time, execute the plan so that we can find the discoveries that we believe are at Golden Rose. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like the right man at the right place at the right time. Exactly. Now, now that you mentioned that now you've entered into this agreement with Eldorado Gold and he has expertise into building a mine, like you mentioned, you've already worked on um, those agreements before as a corporate lawyer uh, with experience in this area. So you were also uh, the right man at the right time. And now uh, this is uh, the right time for a transition, it seems. So um, you mentioned that you're going to resign as a CEO uh, and retain an advisory role within the company. Can you elaborate on this role and what, in uh, what it entails? So in a small company like True Precious Metals, you really want everyone doing what they're best cut out for, ideally. And as you touched on, you know, I've given it uh, certainly my best. I think probably I've delivered everything possible here for the company major strategic investor, consolidated district scale land package, multiple institutional investors, now a partnership with a producer, cash in the bank. True is as well set up as any junior could possibly be. I, I brought it this far, but now we really need to kind of get down to segregating duties as efficiently and optimally as possible. And so I've touched on Steve's experience and how he'll be able to lead the exploration and operations of the company very effectively given his industry experience and the focus on execution, planning, budgeting. Uh, and in my case, because I'm more transactional and on the capital market side, I will be helping advise the company on basically what I do best, which I think is deals, looking at transaction opportunities for the company, potential partnerships, helping them navigate the, you know, the capital markets in terms of uh, keeping an eye on the share price, thinking of how to market the company, meeting investors, those are the things I'm going to do in my new advisory role. And so I think it's going to be a very good complementary skill set with Steve's operational excellence and focus. 
I really like the meritocracy in the company's story so far. Um, and is there a specific timeline when it comes to the transition process? Uh, any other details you would like to expand on? Sure. Well, the, the CEO change has, uh, has now been affected, but I'm going to continue to be involved for at least several months to help a smooth transition. And again, also to make sure Steve and the rest of the team maintain a good capital markets profile going forward. Really, I think uh, you know any good leader needs to know when it's best to step aside and bring in someone more qualified to replace them. And so I think this is the right time to make the change right as we launch this operational process of the exploration program with Eldorado Gold. And when it comes to the property, the Golden Rose project, how will this transition impact it? Well, <laughs> this, uh, this has been underway actually for probably a month plus at this point uh, in terms of uh, operations. So Steve and the team have been diligently at work. You know, I've spoken in previous interviews, scoping out an exploration program to do with Eldorado, scoping out a drill program. Uh, we're now going through a budgeting process, really launching all the operational requirements under that deal with Eldorado. And so uh, this is going to position us to execute hopefully sooner than we could otherwise on an exploration program, primarily focused around drilling at Golden Rose. And so I think the idea here really is, you know, for us to hit the ground running with this transition and get into the exploration planning and roll out as quickly as possible so we can move to drilling as soon as possible when we have a great, when we have good confidence in getting the best drill hits we can from the first drill program uh, in this partnership with Eldorado. And this is where Mr. Steve's technical expertise comes into play, of course. Exactly. And given your experience in the capital markets, um, for investors uh, who are watching us right now, uh, in three short statements, why is now the right time to invest in true precious metals? Uh, given that Steve knows how to operate and to execute, I think, number one, people should expect exploration to happen sooner and with a greater speed than they might have otherwise. You don't know when it starts, but once it starts, it's gonna get going very quickly. Number two, we have this major option deal we've just signed with Eldorado. The top line value of the deal is $15 million. Our market cap's about 5 million. Tremendous upside potential, especially if we start getting good results. That's gonna play out over the coming months, especially as investors return uh, you know, to the office or to home uh, come September. And then number three, like I said earlier, True has all the ingredients you want in a junior explorer as the market starts to turn. You can see gold picking up. You know, True's been trading quite actively recently. Cash in the bank, major partners, institutional investors, mining executive as the CEO. You have a capital markets advisor, team in place, great project, high grade gold, high grade copper. It's all coming together right now. This is the time. This is the green light to go for it. Absolutely great reasons to keep the company on the watch list and also uh, perhaps add it to uh, the investor's portfolio. Thank you so much, Jean Freudman, the co-founder of True Precious Metals. Uh, great to hear more about the company's stories and looking forward to hear more again from you or Mr. Steve very soon. Thanks, Monier. Thanks everyone for being along for the ride. We look forward to continuing to deliver ahead.